Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So in this video, um, the background, you can see some fast forward action of me doing a piety kill on the most insane map uh, I've ever seen for piety. So when it comes to Path of Exile, um, you know, you roll the maps. When it comes to the higher level maps like this one is, um, you try to get some really good mods that increase the number of mobs or the size of the map or just really, really high quantity and doing so results in, you know, on average, getting much more maps than normal within the map that you're doing. But the thing is, to make a rare map, which is what you need to do in the high levels, um, if you get a bad one or one that's not quite as good, not the standards, you got to, uh, you, gotta, you know, chaos it a few times, making it a pretty uh, expensive investment. So when it comes to maps like the one you can see in the uh, in the corner here, sometimes you just got to go with it. Our plan originally was, you know, this map is really, really crazy. 120 quantity, are you kidding? That's crazy high. The mods are pretty easy, except for the final boss. You can see that the final boss does more damage and attacks faster, plus you have the turbo mod, which makes the boss also attack and cast faster, plus you have frenzy charges, and frenzy charges for mobs are much more than 5% attack speed. It's probably close to like 20 or 30% attack speed per charge. So with all that stuff considered, um, a boss with these mods is going to attack more than twice as fast, cast more than twice as fast, and do bonus damage. On top of that, you have elemental weakness, so unless you have really good gear, your resistances are not capped, and on top of that, you have half regen. So even if you get hit uh, to gain back the life that you lost, or perhaps the mana regeneration, you're going to be a little bit screwed as well. So this is a really hard map to kill the final boss in because the final boss is the hardest boss in the maps. Uh, just about, I mean, you can kind of compare it to Maze Ball, but it's definitely on the same level in my opinion. So a lot of you guys have fought Piety on Normal pretty easy, on Cruel, eh, not so easy, and on Merciless, and you've probably almost been one-shot a few times while doing so. Well, Piety in the map version is a much crazier version of Merciless where you can you can just instantly die pretty much the storm that she casts uh, that was hitting my um, my marauder here for two to three k on a crit so when the first one you know hits and crits you take forty percent more damage in the shock effect so the next hit if that crits then you'll die so the problem here is because she casts so many of these because they cast so quickly because their uh, you know their damage rate is based on her cast speed which is so incredibly high in this case I had to just you know not stand still at all at any time so I had to like off screen the boss because you know originally uh, we didn't really kind of do it but I thought it's 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 gonna be a good video at the very least right so I'm, I'm doing these off screen ice spears but she has the energy shield which is quite sizable considering my damage is so pathetic so what I'm doing is I'm using added chaos with GMP blood magic ice spear and the reason I'm doing that is because the chaos damage will go through her energy shield and I could eventually uh, wither her down. So, doing so while playing extremely defensive, I was trying not to use my number one potion because the number one potion is a seething of heat. It doesn't have the surgeon's affix. So while the fight progresses, I'm never going to get any more charges. That's finite. Where the other potions are surgeon, so I'll eventually will use them more and more. And the idea was to play as safe as possible, try to have piety on the top part of the screen where I can, you know, see more of the screen. The sides and the top, the bottom you see very little. So that taken into consideration, I try to adjust my positioning with lightning warp across different areas, you know, hit her off the screen with ice spear and eventually killing her with chaos damage, which in the end I did. And it was uh, quite an interesting thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I killed her. Down. Nice. <laughs>